Today I'm working on a BMW X5 and I thought I would tell a quick story. Um, one time I had one of these in and I was just doing a basic inspection on it. And um, what one thing I noted was this ball joint here was loose. It's very common on these. It's a little bit of a job. You have to pull this bolt out. This bolt's very long and there's little, this little sleeve here and then you have to use a special little press to push this out. You pull a clip and then you um, use a special tool to, to press that out and you press the new one back in and put it back together. I, I believe I quoted around maybe two and a half, three hours labor for the job, which seemed pretty, pretty reasonable. Just maybe slightly overbooked time because it was corroded. But um, anyways, I guess the quote was a little bit too high. So the guy decided he could put a ball joint in himself. So he went home and um, tried doing it himself on the weekend. He was able to get the ball joint in, but he wasn't able to get this bolt lined up because um, when you're fighting the suspension, especially doing it on the floor, it's a little bit tricky to get this thing positioned correctly and to get the bolt to run all the way through it and get this sleeve back in place and make this all happen. So he left the bolt out and um, put it on the ground and uh, was planning on towing it into the shop. But I think he drove it into the street like that with the bolt missing altogether. And what it ended up doing was pulling this axle out of the um, out of the uh, rear differential and destroying the axle, destroying the differential. And um, this whole thing just, it, it, it mangled everything. It looked like a mess. This arm actually was dragging on the ground. And um, yeah, so anyways, they had an aftermarket insurance company and they thought they would try to make a claim on it. And the adjuster came to the shop and ended up totaling the vehicle. So it was a three hour ball joint job that the guy uh, thought he would save a few bucks on and um, <laughs> yeah, totaled his car. So sometimes it's worth just paying to have it done, especially something like that. Um, there, there is a time and a place to try to, you know, fix it yourself. And I try to make videos that, you know, if, if I think it's a job that be a good job to do at home on the floor, then I'll say something like that, that I think this is a good job that most people would be able to do at home easily. But um, this is one where I wouldn't, I wouldn't really recommend it. You know, it's, it's nice to do over your head with a hoist and there are a couple little special tools required. So um, yeah, for the money, it's, it's not worth, it's not worth trying to, um, it's not worth trying to do this yourself. So sorry, it wasn't the greatest story ever, but I hope it helps somebody. Thank you.